So now the big thing is that every step of the way, he has to walk at my pace. So we're just gonna walk up and down here. I'm gonna show you guys how this looks. Check both ways, although it's a one-way street. And then I'm gonna cross the street here, keeping them close. You can see that the distance between my hand and that stopper clip is real, really short. Whenever that line engages, I expect a response from him. I'm not letting him sniff right now. He can't sniff, right? I want to keep my hand loose and I want to keep this part loose, but part of that is on him. There, he tries really hard to sniff, so now he needs to sit. See how his body is? I wait till that eases up. And I'm in no hurry here. Like, I have nowhere to be. This is teaching him how to walk. We don't move forward until you're ready. And I'm watching the speed in which he moves his head. I'm watching how much attention he's given me. I wanna see that stuff calm down, get more still, and then we're ready to move ahead. And I'm walking deliberately slow. I'm asking him to control his energy. Not responsive enough, he gets to sit again. <sighs> to me, it's the same. I have to walk him 45 minutes. You know, whether we walk far and we see a lot of things, um, or we just walk here and we see very few things, I don't mind. To me, it's the same 45 minutes, right? It, what matters is that every step we take, we take it the right way. That's what matters.